大家好，我是 Olive Branch 的 Alan。So OMAD or one meal a day is a very specific form of intermittent fasting or a time restricted feeding. The question is whether you're eating OMAD is good for the long term or not, or is it going to cause you harm? So if you haven't seen my earlier video on intermittent fasting, I refer you back to it because it does explain a lot about the benefits of fasting. However, for a quick summary, what it does is it increases your insulin sensitivity, it increases fat loss, also increases your focus and your human growth hormone as well as adrenaline. So it's a really powerful eating protocol. So what is OMAD? OMAD is basically the extreme form of intermittent fasting, where you're not eating for 23 hours and you're only allowed to eat for one hour or just basically one meal, and that includes no other food, snacks, or even beverages outside of just water. Also, it does not mean that you can eat whatever you want in that one meal.、Uh, you should still practice healthy eating practices, so don't eat junk food and a lot of. Uh, sugar in that one meal. It's not going to be effective if you eat, eat like that. So, although intermittent fasting has been very well studied and there's lots of great evidence showing the benefits, long-term studies of one meal a day is very, very limited. So we can't really tell you what's going to happen.、Um, so that's why there are some concerns whether you should be doing OMAD every single day for a long time. There's a, some concerns of malnutrition. Also, it might lower your resting metabolic rate. Which then makes it really hard for you to continue to lose weight as a program. So there are some concerns. This is why my recommendation is that OMAD can still be a part of a healthy eating program, just limited to maybe every other day, also known as alternate day fasting, or maybe just three times a week and not consecutive days. Lastly, guys, I just want to mention once again that I'm not a doctor, so please do not take this as medical information. This is purely for your information only, and that you should definitely seek out a doctor for real concerns. I hope you found it useful, nonetheless, and please leave any questions or comments below, and I'll see you next time.